music got the shoulder going there, Ronnie. Right? Beautiful back for the cooking. final corner. Ronnie right, Braid sitting alongside me here. Yeah! Now you can play guitar, Rob. <laughs> Actually, Ronnie's just made a great comment. He said, uh, uh, Ian Cockle's come off the ground. He said, I've got him marked down for every quarter, but he's got the wrong number marked down, Cockle. He's only going to get your votes or not. He's got Dave Cousins marked down. Back to the centre of the ground as Jason Doherty starts the tie for the Rockies. Uh, I beg your pardon, the Batty Burn that's what he drove his time. Of course, Rockies have been great sponsors over the years too, Ronnie. But Batty Burn now doing the act for us, and we're very glad to have them aboard. <laughs> and we're going to ball it up for the centre of the ground. I don't believe you said well. that. <laughs> Speaking of balling it up, we're going to do it right now. OK, Ricky Bingham gets the uh, first kick of the last quarter. Up to half forward it goes. Now, Broad doing battle. Looks like O'Keefe is also his opponent this quarter. Good work there from the Bannockburn yeah. defender. Finds the boundary line and uh, we'll have a throw in. Member side half forward flank. Bannockburn into attack. Sam Janiv and Andrews over the back of the pack. Sam Janiv. Vlado gets the handball out there. Miko Tool running towards full forward. But o his mate, Mark O'Toole, is his brother? I think it might be. He was behind the pack there and Paul Smith takes the mark. Yeah, he's got the ball deep in defence. He's only 30 metres in the goal, away from the goal. He's defending. Smith goes out towards half-back. Andrews up, can't take the mark on this occasion. Goes back in at ground level, does the drainer. Got the ball out wide, gets it across the shore. <laughs> Little kick for sure, wasn't too good. Hand pass OK from Pilgrim back to shore. On right foot, they need to kick some goals pretty quickly here. Bannockburn, Roach does well. Beach College on this occasion, gets the hand pass back here. On Turk's got it now. He's on the centre wing position, Jimmy On Turk. Goes down towards, well, take one. It was the target. He couldn't take the mark. At ground level, picking up even the flying shot. Looked like O'Keefe. And he's kicked the goal. Great goal. And if it wasn't over before, Roddy, I think it's right over now. That was, well, uh, just what Batty Bird did. What Carrillo kicked the goal in the first minute or so of the final quarter. And... Uh, Nice play there from Tykewin, and of course they keep putting that one right through. Yeah, great pressure goal because uh, he was running flat out through that mud patch and uh, was hotly pressed by his opponent. Steve O'Keefe kick, kicks his second, and uh, we haven't been going two minutes of this final quarter, and uh, the Crow Devils now extend their lead uh, to 33 points. Andrews in the ruck now against Sam Jenny. <coughs> Plods in the mud. Good play though by Sam Jenny to get it out. It's out towards centre-half forward. Good play by Tyquin and also O'Toole. Too high to Tyquin. He's running through from a handball from O'Toole. And he got one around the neck. Free kick to the coach. Oh, he's got two goals on the board. He'll be looking for his third here. I think he's just about within kicking distance. <laughs> Let's watch the kick. It's a long kick off the left foot. It's deep into the goal square. No mark being taken. A few players up, but the ground level. Here's the chance. Kick it off the ground there. A chance for Broad. He might go for the defensive behind. He has done so. And through she goes for a minor score to Correa Devils. And they're going to move along to 8-11-59. They're going to lead Bannockburn 3-7-25. Good lead in the early stages of this final quarter. Paul Smith kicks in for Bannockburn. Oh, a shocking kick off the boot. It's going to fall to Stephen O'Keefe. He's going to have five or ten metres on Wentworth too. He tries the banana, but he's going to miss it to the near side and another behind the cryo side. Well, since quarter time, they've shown their domination, haven't they? Really, they've, they've showed why they're the undefeated side of the competition and uh, they've showed why they're going to take a pretty good side to beat them. They've gone to eight goals, 12, 60 points. Bannockburn, goalless since quarter time, 3, 7, 25. Don't forget, Bannockburn beat the second best side of the comp last week and uh, were pressing for that position Yeah, themselves. comfortably too. You know? And uh, So this has been a pretty good performance from Karai. They show they can do it in the dry or the wet and that would be good to know for the Karai supporters come finals time. Yeah, certainly, Cookie. I thought this was a danger game, even though it was at the Devils Playground, the home of the Crow Sporting Club. Uh, they've just proven today how superior they are. Smith comes to the commentary side, looking for Pilgrim. That's Ron, and he finds him in front of Dave Roach at half-back. He goes on now quickly, looks for rough Robbie Henderson. He's going to be behind. Sam Janiv comes in in front. East running through. Henderson handball to Wentworth. Henderson running through the middle of the pack. Quick kick on his left foot, looking for Damien Tom close to the boundary line. Good play by Baker. Tom's got the ball. Oh, that's nearly holding the ball. Henderson onto his right foot. Quick kick. Oh, kicks for touch and finds it. Out of bounds. Boundary throw in. Now, this is Sean Rafferty, I think, Ron, isn't it? Coming into the play now. Very good. Cookie. No, can we get the boundary umpire right on the screen, please? He throws this one back on the play. This is the, this is the Irish boundary umpire, <laughs> Sean Rafferty. They talk about Jimmy Steins, and they talk about Sean White. Look at this boy, Sean Rafferty, high throw in, magnificent throw in, almost hit the rover on the top of the head there. Pilgrim went in after it, got it out wide, taken away there by 
uh, John Cousins, who's been very good. Tyke one marks in front of Hewitt. He plays on immediately. Tyke one goes on the left foot towards the forward corridor. It's a free kick. Karaya's way coming up here for sure. The yeah. umpire was right on that. That's good umpiring, Rod. Holding the shark. Yeah, the shark. He was uh, trying to make a bit of ground there and being held back, and there was no doubt about the free kick. And, uh, well, let's just have a look here. Mark O2. I've got him down for one goal five. And so is Ron, and so is Jason. So that's what he's kicked. He comes in to kick his second goal, or his sixth behind. Let's wait a minute. He's hooked it a little. The goal on I think you might have snuck it in. Yes, Shark, he's back on target. He kicks his second goal. And well done, too. Two goals, six. Had he been on target, Ron, he might have been in, uh, in line for the best player of the day award again. Yeah, without a doubt, because, uh, well, that previous week's game uh, that we did up at Werribee Central's, he was outstanding with five, and f that was five goals, and as many screaming marks. Bannockburn now, they've stuck on 3-7-25. Kiraio Devils at the five and a half minute mark of the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy time clock. They now move to nine goals, 12, 66 points. A very handy 41 point lead last quarter. Sam James straight down to Mick O'Toole out of the centre again. Kiraio down towards half forward. Smith in front of O'Toole this time and he takes the mark. Mostert on also for McNamara who's off the ground. First run for Mostert this afternoon. Smith kicks up towards the centre of the ground. Andrews from the back of the pack. Bigham has to wait. He does so. Tries to handball towards St. Janney running through. Good tackle again. But a ball up at centre half forward for Carayo. Who have taken the commanding lead in this match. 41 points. Early stage of this final quarter. The umpire throws it up tight. One does the right work. Andrews actually up the ruck that time for Bannock. Burn got the ball to the turf. They've got it towards, well, nearly centre wing position. Uh, Sam Janiv stands firm in defence. Got the hand pass away. Comes back here towards Davey. He's in a bit of trouble. He got a hand pass away also. They're stacking on top, but out there. Sam Janiv again works hard. Tries to get the ball out for Karaya. By golly, I think he's got a ball this one up. He's good umpiring. Let it go for a long time. Give him every chance to get it out, but unfortunately the players couldn't do that. And we'll have a ball up decision almost at the centre of the ground. And Karaya are in command here. They lead 66 to 25 in the final quarter. Good play by Andrews to get the tap out towards Pilgrim. Off the ground by Broad. Roach leads in the race for the ball over the boundary line and a throw in grandstand side. <laughs> and uh, David Cook. <laughs> he's, he's frozen stiff. <laughs> I might never play guitar again. My fingers are snapping. <laughs> boundary throw in. Alan Turk over the top. Gets the tap down towards Matthew East. Well pressured there by Etridge. And it's over the boundary line again. So... Carayo stay undefeated again and uh, good run home too. Gets down towards Cornwall, gets a tap out towards On Turk. Got time to pick the ball up. He's surrounded now. Good tackle by Bannockburn. Ron Pilgrim now around on his left foot towards centre half forward. Damien Tom and also Paul Baker. Roach back there to help out for Carayo. Good turn around on his right foot. He's got two Carayo players. It's Cornwall's one. He takes oh, a diving grab. slips catch for a mark and at half back. Cornwall. And I tell you what, great, great uh, camera work there. Noel Fanning's up here doing that. That was a great catch on the, on the right on the field there, was he? Right on the ball, that Fanny. A real finger tipper. He's got it back to On Turk, who takes the mark just on centre half back. Baker's out wide in front of him. Oh, oh Jimmy On Turk had a bit of a, a, a false start there. At Marbles, you'd say slips no go, but he, he received the back there from uh, Nevada Cornwall. On Turk goes down towards half forward. He comes Bingham, taken away from him. Air pass comes out wide towards Ashore. And Ashore, well, not a particularly good effort there. He got it back towards the centre wing. Here comes East. A trip has been paid. And all uh, oh, the Correa bits didn't like that, but I think fair enough. He, he was making the play, Ronnie had every chance there for oh, the umpire, and they've been consistent with it. Certainly, give the player go at the footy a chance, and he takes the free kick, and he kicks it towards the battery line. Horribly, horribly close. I think it's okay. It's just inside the line, and Andrews takes the mark. Long bomb up there to the centre half forward, coming out strongly for the footy. Cornwall, who's done well. Now the loose ball spills out where we see Flanagan with one of very few possessions here this afternoon. Kicks up there on his left foot. The uh, Karaya player there, Ricky Neville, stopped. But the Baddick Bird boy tried to get away with it. But the umpire... Sean Rafferty Sean right Rafferty, there. The Irishman a little late with the whistle. But has finally picked him up. And we'll have a throw in about 45 metres from Baddick Bird's goal. Sam Janiv gets it down. Good play by Karaya to by Davey. But he only gets as far as Winter, who's on the wing. And the Baddick Bird coach takes the mark. Try and set something up now. He goes across the ground looking for Habib and Tom. Habib, good mark in front of Mostert at centre-half forward. 
Most leads covered at the moment. He goes out wide again. Poor kick off the boot. Roach to lead in the race for the ball. And Ron Pilgrim. Good play, Roach. Yep. Good play towards the boundary line. Now he taps it back in. He puts Ricky Neville under pressure. Good play by Pilgrim to intercept for Banning Burn. Tackled there. Good play by Carrillo. Mostert again. Good tackling in the def in defence for Carrillo. Matty Pilgrim can pick the ball up and do something now. He gets it out the back of the pack towards Ron Pilgrim. Quick kick over the shoulder. Butch Shaw can take the mark. And he holds it there. He thought he was going to play on. He does now towards centre half forward. Henderson and also Andrews leading from a long way from full forward. And the drainer takes it at centre half forward. Thought he was down the drain there to get that one. Ronnie <laughs> traded the mud nicely, did he? Great grab, but his kick is an absolute shocker, and it's hit Jimmy on to right on the dit. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> Still, we're not on air, and I've said worse than that on air. It's okay. <laughs> he comes out to Barney Corwell. What about that hot dog? What about that hot dog? Here comes Corwell <laughs> on the centre wing position, touch to the ground. Well, he's going to touch it again. He's run a long way. I wouldn't like to be batting that far. Here comes Corwell as he kicks the ball in the half forward. And a mark taken, and Dode Till throws his opponent to the ground there after he had taken the mark, and 50 metres has been correctly paid. The very first of the afternoon. Now, the distance that Nevada Corn will run there, I mean, I play a bit of cricket, Ron, they're going to run 22 yards. I reckon he's run about 40 and then touched on the ground. <laughs> but it's OK, he got away with it. Certainly did. Smith well, goes Smith. wide, looking for Andrews. Could be too wide, though. And out of bounds, boundary throw in. Well, the breeze has subsided, fellas. The <laughs> temperature's below zero, and all is well out here at the Devil's Playground. As we see the ball now, half forward flank, Bannockburn into attack. They haven't kicked a goal since quarter time. On to does well, spiral torpedo. In front of Keith. Good shepherding there, Williams. Hand pass a beauty to uh, Swampy. Kicks around his body. Now, an opportunity if we see Angus Hewitt under pressure from Tykewood. Williams butters up. Quick kick up to where a nice mark taken, Clinton Shaw. Very good player this afternoon to Clinton Shaw. He's taken the mark at centre half back. He's going to go wide, I think. He elects to run around the man on the mark, Tyquan, and Tyquan just bumps him out for a kick. Not much in that play on the call. Good play. It's across to Bath. Bath goes out wide. Bannockburn have kept possession. Little chip over the top to Steve Witt is OK. He elects to play on on this occasion. Need to set something up here. Getting up, Roach put the hand up nicely in front there and spoiled the instrument. A bit of a paddle back through the legs. A bit of a kick off the ground there from Ricky Neville. Doesn't travel much distance. Hand pass comes back to Roach. Roach now with the left foot <laughs> kick around the body. Not too good because Corey Flanagan takes the mark at half forward for Bannockburn. And looking to set something up to try and redeem something out of this game this afternoon where they look so good in the first quarter but have fallen away since that time. He kicks towards Henderson and Ruff Robbie takes the mark short of set a half forward. Goes towards Pilgrim but intercepting Nevada Cornwall. He's had a good second half and he takes the mark at centre half back for Carrillo. Looks to play on now, has to go wide, looks for Etridge. And he takes the mark in front of Rose at half back, goes shorter again. Dave Cousins has to sit and wait, he does so, takes the mark in front of Wentworth. And on the wing, he's got Baker running past, ignores him. I reckon the old stage of Butter Etridge has just run himself into form this afternoon, and since quarter time he's been very effective. He had a good third quarter, we see a free kick to Henderson at half back for a over the shoulder. That's play on now. Goes with his right foot, poor kick. There's Etridge again. We are just speaking about him. He plays on two, gives the handball to Stephen O'Keefe. Runs from half back. Big torpedo pun up towards full forward. Tyquin and Stewart there. Also Hewitt and Smith. Good play by Marsh to tap it through. Williams now has got time. He turns around on his left foot. Tyquin. He's going to be under pressure. Uses the body well. The too big, coach. too strong. Yep. Great work, Butter Etridge here at Centre Wig. Setting that footy up. And a beautiful spiral torpedo, Stephen O'Keefe. Opportunity now for the Devils. Tyquin to kick his third goal for the afternoon. Right, easy, How far off the ton is he, Roddy? You're, you're always the expert on these. Uh, how many goals they've kicked and uh, how, how many Wayne well, got before the Wayne Saturday? Wayne Tyquin has kicked 93 goals for the season. Correct. Before today? Yes, no, no 91. 91. 91 before today, and uh, he might have just snuck that in. Yep, it's a goal. He's kicked his third this afternoon. So he's uh, just bobbing along towards that magical ton. 94. We might even catch him on tape in a couple of weeks' time. Oh, I think he'll kick uh, his ton next Saturday at uh, Bell Post Hill. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Brady's made another prediction. <laughs> 14 and a half minutes gone. The final quarter on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophies. Final quarter time clock. And doing it quite nicely, Carrillo, after a 
an ordinary start to the game. They proved themselves far superior. Most of the Papins here this afternoon. Certainly the field of endeavour they couldn't be lacking. And their skills in the wet weather has been pretty good for most of the day. Yeah, they've played good percentage footy here again this afternoon, especially after quarter time, the Devils, as the up is going to come in and uh, throw the ball in the middle of the Devils' playground. And, uh, well, a very sticky one at that, gentlemen. Certainly is. Andrews goes up. Bottled up again in the middle of the ground. Umpire lets it go. He's going to have to ball it up there. No, gave them the opportunity. Couldn't get it out. Matthew East at the bottom of the pack there for Bannockburn. Another ball up in the middle of the ground. Players just going through the motions, I'd suggest, gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, we're just going through all too <laughs> because we're just trying to keep warm up here. <laughs> That's cold out the ground. You want to be happy here? We can't move. At least you can run around out there. Here it goes. Bit of a slap over the top. It lands up in the arms. There. Little by Bingham. Got the hand pass back there. Quick kick by Jimmy on Turk towards centre wing. Not particularly good. Picked up by East. That's the young foil there in Matthew East. His kick is close to the boundary line. Looks like Baker. You can't see much from where we are. Baker kicked the ball back into play. O'Toole takes the mark. And Mikko. Oh, look, he's played all right today, Mikko, too. He's picked up possessions around the ground. He's worked hard for the footy in the pack positions. He kicks the ball award just over the centre wing at ground level. Here's a charge for Carrillo. Ashley Davey gets it up and under. Kick flapped over the top. Goes back towards Williams. He knocks the ball further afield. He he comes tight when he gathers. He's pushed to the back for mine. Umpires let it go. Play on is the core. It's deep in attack. Here comes Williams. He picks it up when he goes for oh. goal. He likes to run around the man of the mark. He's run his fair distance. He straightens up on left foot. And Williams goals. <laughs> Eddie Williams didn't know what to do there for a minute, but he looked at it. Well, I'll beat this bloke, and then I'll uh, work out what I'm going to do. And he ran around the left foot and kicked a nice goal to finish. That's his second and a beautiful goal at that. Yep, poor play by Alistair Broad there. Didn't have much help either in the last line defence of Bannockburn and able to go through Williams and kick his second for the afternoon. And that will move Cryo along to 11 goals, 12.78 on the APCO Easy Shop scoreboard. Bannockburn, 3.725. And where are those APCO Easy Shops, Cookie? OK, they're in the round Geelong, they're at North Geelong, they're at East Geelong, they're at Newcombe, they're down there at Sunny Bar and Harrison. They're also in Bebe, 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 Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> the one-stop shop that's got the lot. The final quarter, 78 plays, 25. The umpires there, Penny Flowers, uh, Dove and Rafferty. And then the girls, Scotty McDonald and Mr Billings is down there too. Nice to see him, uh, Eric. Of course, we haven't seen Eric before, have we? No, 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 not at all, Cookie. But I'm not even sure what any's happening. He's doing a good job. <laughs> Back to the centre. Quick hand pass. Butch Shaw couldn't find the target. Young Matty East, good work, son. He's been a pretty steady contributor here this afternoon. Could have caught one a bit high. No, said the umpire. And he's going to come in and throw it up again in the middle of the mud. And it's Hatch. getting a bit dark here too, Rob. Certainly has. It's black as the ace of spades. If anyone's... Uh, well, no one can hear us because they're not on the radio. I wish they'd turn <laughs> their lights on in their cars. We'll be able to see what's happening here. Let's see what happens here. Coming out of the centre comes K -K -K Corball. A right foot kick towards half foot. Woo, 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 Williams. He can't gather. He knocks the ball backwards quite K -K cleverly. He's chipping in there very nicely. They were running. I thought there it was looking like Andrews. Was it down in the defence? Sure. The trainer. The was trainer, it? I just had to check there. He's got the ball out wide. Uh, 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 they've got a uh, uh, position here. How about kick, 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 Arroyo? Picked up by the tight one, and he goes for kick a goal, and he missed it. But <laughs> point only. The big one, tight one. Three goals, one. Uh, his personal talent. He's been pretty handy this afternoon, Rob. Yeah, certainly, Chucky. <laughs> Handier than I have. <laughs> uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. It's all happening out at the playground. <laughs> Listen, usually... Uh, Celebrities to track groupies. We've attracted all the blokes with the cans in front of us. There we go. <laughs> Good to see him too. Kick in by Smith. Finds Rose at half back for Bannockburn. Kicks short towards Clinton Shaw. Well intercepted by Johnny Cousins. Can't be picked up there by Carrillo teammate Netridge. Out the back though. Swampy Marsh. Short kick. Lux of Fortune straight to Davey. Can Great line up pass. for goal now. Up towards full forward Stewart. And also Smith. Oh, touched by Smith just on the last line. How yeah, could you say Lux of Fortune when Swampy ah. knows what he's going to do with it? He knew the player was there. Swampy's a good player. Sorry, can't pay that one. <laughs> there you go, Cookie. Oh, right, Brady's teeth have just fell out here. <laughs> Supporters agreeing with you too, Cookie. You've done it again, son. Paul Smith uh, got to kick the ball back into play for Batty Burn. I reckon he's kept well over the 10 metre line, but you can't see because there's no marks on the ground with all the mud there. Kicked it well out over half back. Picked up here by uh, Bath. He had a bit of trouble. He could be in more trouble too. Spins around, goes on right foot out wide towards Hewitt. Jake Hewitt picks it up. He's well claimed by a tight one. What's the umpire's decision? 
Wayne Tyke would take the free kick. Great tackle, big fellow. Out there at centre wing, grandstand side of the ground. Guy, golly, it's dark here. It all looks all right on screen because there's no lights uh, here, but there's plenty of lights on screen. Tyke would kick not too good. And in the murk and the mud, Corey Flanagan takes the mark at half back. Well, That's... he's got to be colour blind cooking yeah. because he's kicked it straight down the throat of Nevada Cornwall. Well, it is dark. Played a very consistent game of football here this afternoon. Just chips it over the top for the lead. Oh, coming out hard was Davey, but loose ball picked up by the Butcher. Shaw puts ball to ground. Some shepherding there behind play was OK. Shaw's kicked out very wide, looking for a roughhouse Robbie Henderson, but he can't find him. And it's out of bounds. Just in front of the comedy position, centre half, or half forward flank. Tell you what, nearly not one of our groupies stubbies over here in front of us too, Ronnie. That would have been a bit of a catastrophe for the afternoon. The boys picked them up very quickly. Shorter over, he throws it back into play. Not a bad one either. Bit high next time, Short over there. It goes down to send Jenny. Knocked the ball out of the turf. Picked up by Davey. Right foot kick around the body by Davey. Went towards half forward. Good spoil in fact in the finish there. Might have been broad, I think, coming out of defence and slapping the ball wide. Out of bounds she goes. Now, here's our Irish boundary umpire. We had him on screen. We lost him again. Can we get him back? No, we'll get him next time, Fatto. Don't miss him next time. He throws it back into play. Sam Jenny was in front, taken away from him. Bannock Burner relieved the pressure with a little kick around towards the centre wing. Goes towards Stormy Winner. Stormy paddles the ball in front of him. And the pressure there from Jimmy on Turk and the out of bounds. Now we'll get a good shot of our famous boundary umpire, Sean Rafferty, as he throws it back into play. Just gathers his feelings here and his thoughts, Sean Rafferty. He's right into the action here. Now he's got the uh, ball back on a play. He's had a look. He's got the, <laughs> Bit of a the smile from the camera too. There. Yeah, and, the, and he's just showed us something else. Got the Ford credit. Which one's he smiling? The Ford credit Gulf Society T-shirt on. And he throws it back in a play. And a magnificent throw in. And he's put it right back in a play. On to gets a tap down towards Ashley Davey. He pushes it forward towards Williams. And also Marsh. Marsh can run through. Well shepherded by Williams. Swampy now onto his right foot. Good vision. Tyke one has taken the mark. Tyquin now plays on quickly. Left foot, open goal square back there. Smith could have. Oh, well done by Paul Just Smith. Did it again. Yep. Just a touch on the last line defence there. For a behind. Now, I want the ball to go out of bounds on the <laughs> side of the ground because I think he's just risen to the occasion a bit there, Sean Rafferty. He's been a bit lacklustre this afternoon, a few fairy throw-ins. But that one was a beauty when we had the cameras uh, on him. And here comes Paul Smith as he punt kicks the ball back into play out over half. Mark. Back is that a mark? Yes. It is for mine. The drainer. Looks like the drainer, Andrews, who's played all right this last quarter since having a run on the ball. Chips towards the centre wing, not too good. Picked up by Davey. Gathered a few possessions this afternoon, does Davey. Goes down towards half foot. Swampy Marsh, no free kick, no mark. Play on the call. Hand pass. Comes back, Bannock Burner running now nicely. Here comes uh, Corey Flanagan. Right foot kick gets into the centre of the ground of the glue pot there. Hand pass over the top. This looks like sure it is. He goes on the right foot down towards half foot. Here comes Neville off the ground. Well done, Ricky. Took no chances. Kicked it out wide. But uh, sure is there. Does well. Will he run on that left foot? Oh. Will he go on the right foot? Will he hand pass? I'll just take me time, he said. And I'll chip the ball across. Looking for the lead of Jason Habib and finding that player who had called him very nicely. Certainly did. Chips over to the lead of Ronnie Pilgrim, who's made some good position. Only, you know, 25 metres further down the ground. Oh, Pilgrim's played on. Put Bath under pressure. Likewise, Stevie Winner. And I think you'll find that the Devils will clear. I know, luckily for the Bannockburn side, Ronnie Pilgrim mops up, gives it to Habib, who's kick around the corner. Luck of the Irish. In front, taking a chest spark, Matty Pilgrim. And he's got an opportunity here from about 30 metres to kick. Uh, let's have a look. He hasn't troubled the scorers either, the skipper of the Tigers. Can't have a shot for Banny Burn. We might get the time clock. The Banny Burn oh. Sporting Trophy's time clock might come up for us any minute now, Ron, in the final quarter as he actually chipped that one across to uh, Stormy Winner just to make sure that uh, I'm here next week, Stormy. Don't forget me. <laughs> and, uh, well, as I said before, Stormy's not one of the greatest goal kickers of all time. He's a very good coach, certainly and a very good player, but he's not the greatest goal kicker. Let's hope that he can get this one home for Bannock Bird as he kicks it uh, like a back pocket player, in fact. Got into the goal square, that's about all you can say. They stack it on top, but it keeps in there. And yeah, the umpire's got no option but to pull this up as the Bannock Bird sporting trophy's time clock hits our screen in about uh, three seconds. Brett Revere will put that up for us. Just want to know where we are in the last quarter, Brett, as the ball's rolled through from behind. Thank you very much. We've played 24 minutes of the final quarter here at the Devils Playground. Yes, certainly. And the, the defence well on top here for the Biakaraya side, not allowing Bannockburn to kick a goal after quarter time. Quite sensational. Kick in by Roach towards the boundary line. Good pick up by the Cry player, Etridge. Can play on now. 
Crow running out of defence. Short, Flanagan tries to intercept, can't take it with him. Oh, ducks the tackle there. Dave Cousins, but it's too high. Been consistent all day, the umpires. Yep. Dave Cousins now well. goes around the wing. Oh, poor kick though off the boot. And a free kick to Henderson on the wing. Out of yeah, bounds on the fall. No, it's not. Sorry, it's not Zimmer. I'm sorry. He's not. He hasn't followed us this week, unfortunately for David Cook, because I know how much he loves the boundary umpires. He collapsed that place, <laughs> first, didn't he? He lost the plot. <laughs> this fellow Ocean seems yet. He picks it up, tumbles the punt towards Well, short at the centre of the ground. Uh, Baddick Burn, the runners here. Looked like Ewart coming down the ground. Wasn't got it down towards Habib. He couldn't take the mark. At the back of the pack, working hard as Roach. He's played a fair game in defence. He picks it up and he runs through the glue pot. Says the umpire, well, OK. He said, yeah, keep going, son. So he got the ball out towards Edridge. Edridge takes the mark short of the centre wing position. He goes down towards half four looking for Williams. He couldn't take the mark. Sure, 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 I've got it, he said. Clinton Shaw picks up the kick. Not too particularly too good. I know they're tired, but it wasn't too hot at all. Bath gets the hand pass across to Hewitt. He runs forward to the centre, does Jake Hewitt. Pushes in kick. Still able to get a recent footage on the football. Long one it goes down to the forward zone. Lost it was up, couldn't take the mark, and the umpire comes in. Now, which umpire is that, Ron? Sam uh, Paddy. Sam Paddy. Sam Paddy. Yeah, well, he's going to ball it up now. Yes, and he's actually what he's done. Is he too. a relation to meet Paddy that you have in the West? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> half brother or something. <laughs> Well, the ball's been cleared for the Devils. Hope he doesn't smell the same as you know. <laughs> well, he can't yeah. find him. Has he got some good support, though? And we see now, yep, the Baker boy just chipping across. Couldn't find a teammate. As we see now, Butchaw pick it up and kick it up there to half forward. But again, the Devils' defence doing well. Davey like pushed. Actually, Davey. Yep. Yes, thank you, Jason. That's OK. He pushes it across the back line. Good play by Cry to run it out once again. Cousins, Wentworth tackles him, but he's taken the mark before he can do so. He's at... On the wing now, the captain for Carrillo. Played a good game today. Goes to Dave Cousins. He can run on now on Turk's going to Shepherd. He goes on his left foot, looking towards centre half forward and Tyquin. Troy Shaw's there also. Williams picks it up, turns around, eludes one or two, runs backwards, gives it the Swampy Marsh. Can turn around. Good kick, good vision. Stewart in the square. Could have blazed away for goal, but good vision and found Jason Stewart in the goal square. He's going to line up for his first goal this afternoon. Yes, the leading goal kicker in the reserve grade, but his uh, margin he had has been closed by Buchanan. He's only four in front, playing senior footy. Comes in, and I think you'll find, yes, he's popped it through. Well, he's just reduced Wayne Tycoon's lead in in the seniors by one goal, Ronnie, because he's put that one through very nicely. Yeah, he did, and he kicked the first three uh, last game we did. So yeah. Karaya now have romped away to 12, 16, 88. 62-point leaders over Bannockburn, 3-7-25, and uh, three points since quarter oh. time, Bannock. Panic stations out there this week, uh, pretty poor performance. We've gone 27 and a half minutes in the final quarter. The Bannockburn's putting through his time clock. Steve Witter, what's he going to do through the week? Want to train him hard? No, they probably need a break, I'd suggest. A bit of a letdown after a big game last week. Yep, exactly. Well, they've got two of their best players on the bench at the moment, Troy Collier and Nigel Tresize. Just size, obviously, a big loss in the ruck with Shane Andrews having to play there at the moment. So we would think that Collier must have been injured yeah, to I'd go say off so, he yep. was one of their better players when yep. he went off the ground. Yep. Cats are up by 29 points. So that's yeah, uh, yeah, very good. I'm not sure that'll please our video watchers. <laughs> As uh, back into play comes the ball. Chance for Nevada Cornwall. The hand pass from Mick O'Till's OK. Where, 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 Williams? Here he comes again. A left foot kicks a beauty. And here's Stewart. A little lead in front, as all good forwards should be any day, especially what day. And he bangs the mark right on the chest, and he's got to go back. And he's a good kick too, Jason Stewart. He'll certainly score. Just wonder whether it'll be a major or a minor. I'm going to tip the major. Yeah. I think he's got his, uh, not the major so. Tom, but the major goal, major <laughs> score. As he comes in and goes for goal, he's spiralled. He's got the spiral right over the top of Tightman's hat. He's pinched it off the goal umpire, and it's full points <laughs> on the board. <laughs> yeah, okay. Finishing off. The better, Carrillo here, certainly. Oh, look, it's just a super performance yeah. here this afternoon by the Devils, and uh, they're just completely blitzed, the Bannockburn side, after quarter time. And they've stretched their lead now <laughs> to 68 points. Only 29 minutes gone of the Bannockburn Sporty Trophy final quarter time clock. And what a great, great place to go. Bannockburn Sporty Trophies, Pam and David Glover, Lovely work out there at Bannockburn Sporty Trophies. <laughs> They've got all sorts of goodies, not just the trophies, mate. They've got caps and hats and bags and coats and all sorts of goodies, mate. 
There's a full stop just been put in there. Umpire throws it back up into play. We're pretty hard to tell who got a knockdown there. It's Roddy, he's got in raptures over the Bannock Burns sporting traffic. Obviously, you owe money out there, Ron, to be plugging them that hard. <laughs> and a uh, little kick by Ashley Davey. Not, not too bad lately. You have him uh, kicking around the body. And I think that's Williams taking the mark again. Might have booked himself a starting position next week's game, I reckon, young Williams. And he takes the mark. And... Uh, Wanted to go on with it, wasn't allowed to. Back he gives it to Davey, who kept coming. Davey on the right foot goes oh. down to Tyquan, who takes the grab in front of the drainer. Too big, too strong, and too good. Yep, he's been good this afternoon, actually. He's been a real leader at centre half forwards, taken some good, strong marks, and has kicked three goals, too. Goes with his left foot for his fourth goal, and he's, he's done it. Four goals, too. Yep. No problems about that. So he's under 95 goals for the season, and the more he kicks today, the less work he has to do next week to kick the 100. Certainly. And I reckon he'll have his 100 up by half time next Saturday. Oh. Beautiful. <coughs> that comments there from Ronnie Brain, who <laughs> did suggest after the first game that Karaya would go through the season undefeated mm. and champions and win the Premiership. Ronnie, as each week goes by, you get more correct. 100 plays 26 on the Epco Easy Shop scoreboard. How much harder is it get each week now not to get beaten? Not to get beaten every week. They're all trying to knock you off. Is it, are they better off losing one? No. Okay. Comments from Roddy Brain. Back in the centre now. Cor uh, Bannockburn get it out. Clinton Shaw towards centre half forward. Tom and also Angus Hewitt down there. Stormy winner runs through the pack. Tries to give it to Henderson. Good play by Dave <laughs> Cousins. He's <laughs> looked like a trip to me. Yep. Tripped as he tried and to handball. Only, the only reason it looked like a trip because he was on one leg and the other leg was being held in the air. That's uh, <laughs> That looked pretty good, Roddy. Beautiful. And, and Dave Cousins, it's been a good performer at halfback too. He takes the free kick. Goes now, plays on, gives it towards Paul, uh, Nevada Cornwall. Good tackle. Gets rid of the ball though. Gives Tom, Damien Tom, a bit of a go at the ball now. There's the siren though. It's all over. And I feel the siren has been merciful of the finish <laughs> for the Bannockburn Tigers, who since quarter time have been completely outclassed by a very good Carayo unit. We just see the... Uh, Cryo bench walk off. It's not a bad bench. O'Toole, Cockrell, and McNamara. Jeez. <coughs> yes, got a bit of strength out here this uh, year. Probably finish. Well, but they probably finish most games on the ground, oh, one would think. On. But the strength out here is in the reserves as well. We've got Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray Robinson there. Sugar Ray's the looking wave. pretty happy too. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet <laughs> boys on the picture there. <laughs> give us a big wave. Thank you very much for that, Ray. They've got a few in the seconds that can play too, you know. Philip Boyle's running around out there. And I see Greg Cockwell's play many senior games. is running around. They've got a lot of good players playing in their twos. That's the depth of the club. The strength of the club this year is in their reserves. Darren Shelley, you know. The uh, egg shell, the old mate. Keith Cornwall. That's Greg here. You've mentioned Greg Cockrell. I mean, Philip Boyle, you just say. Mickey Howard. I'm not sure where Mick is, but I tell you what. Played uh, the reserves. Don't know about today. We certainly played last week, I think, Ronnie. So huh. they've got plenty of depth there. If they get injuries, they're going to be able to cover them. They are the side to boot. No doubt about that. And uh, Carrillo, they've run out very convincing winnings this Dave, afternoon. The Apco Easy Shop score. Dave McKinnon and Peter McCain, a couple Dave of Dave McKinnon, of course, Premiership, uh, not a Premiership player, but certainly played in finals, the, the, the ones they lost. Uh, Peter McCain, McGillar, our old mate, yeah, yeah. strong oh. player. They've got plenty of depth, and that's going to be the secret of their success this year. As we wait now on the Apco Easy Shop's final quarter scoreboard to come up on the screen as the Bannock Burn Sporting Trap, his time clock disappears. Presto. Bango goes <laughs> Bannock Bird's footy trophies, and here comes Apco, Easy Shop scoreboard. 14 16. That is 100 points. They got the ton, Ronnie. That's not a bad score in a ground like this in a day like the day. Bannock Bird, three goals, eight, uh, 26 points. And uh, if you were going to be cynical, you could say that Bannock Bird were consistent in the final three quarters. They kicked one point each time. Not and I much, reckon uh, Steve Winter will not be a happy man, and I wouldn't like to be in the rooms in about 10 minutes when he gets in there and addresses his players. No, and I uh, think that they deserve every little bit that they get because uh, yeah. it was a pretty ordinary performance after quarter time from a side that is su supposedly, uh, you know, finals contenders. And, uh, well, you know, they've got to really have a good, hard, long look at themselves. Yeah, they've got to regroup from here. Maybe they need a break. You suggested they might need a little bit of a rest now after a few <coughs> hard games, and they've come from uh, second division to be a very competitive first division side. Might need a bit of a rest and a little bit of swimming or something just to relieve the pressure. Bannock Burn goals were kicked by Robbie Henderson, Butch Shaw, and Shane Andrews, whilst for Carayo, single goal kickers Mick O'Toole 
and Dave Cousins and Ricky Bingham. Two goals each, Jason Stewart and Andrew Williams, who was a very constructive player when he came on the ground. Two goals to Mark O'Toole, 2-5 two in fact. Steve O'Keefe kicked two, and Wade Tightman, the coach, kicked four goals for the Correo Devils. Roddy, uh, how are you going for votes? Are you nearly ready? I've got my votes ready, rocking, roll, I've and it's quite ready too, easy. And they're different. Jason, quite I've easy. got mine ready. And Fano, are you giving votes tonight? No, you're just talking <laughs> away in the background. OK, well, uh, why don't we start with the most experienced campaigner, our best caller, Roddy Brain. Would you like to give us a bit of a, a summary of your votes for this afternoon? Thank you very much, David. And, uh, well, a summary. After a very, very slow start, the Crows side, probably historic day today for the uh, Devils, not kicking a goal in the first quarter, and that weren't looking too good, 18-point trailers at quarter time. But John Cousins had the football on a string. Ably supported in that first quarter by Paul Baker, Dave Cousins, and, of course, Ian Cockrell all across halfback. They defeated Tyler in that first quarter, and uh, it could have been a little bit more than 18 points, but, no, to their credit, they went in with that 18-point deficit. Bannockburn, I thought Troy Collager was a great player for them, and uh, Alistair Broad at centre-half back. Paul Smith and, of course, Clinton Shaw did very well for them. Again, all defenders in that first quarter of footy. Second quarter... That was the Wayne Tykewood quarter of footy for mine. That's when he started to get into uh, top gear and uh, he was a great leader for the Devils. Ashley Davey, quite good. John Cousins again. Ian Cockrell again, I thought, played very well. And uh, a special mention to uh, Big Villado, from Geneve. And uh, he really set them alight in the setup. Again, Troy Collager played well for Bannockburn, ably supported there by Matty Pilgrim. And uh, Paul Smith, likewise, some fine work by Matthew screen, East. That looks like Uncle Arthur coming to the screen there. It <laughs> 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 the is. Show on TV. It is. But uh, yeah, after half time, it was a bit of a uh, one horse race. And Bannockburn, they virtually went to sleep. And Carayo just continued on their merry way. They had Williams come onto the ground, and uh, he's come on and kicked two goals and set up a lot of forward moves. The little tap ons and the uh, team orientated uh, part of his game was exciting to watch and uh, a big future for the kid. Uh, other players that did well, well, Mark O'Toole had he kicked straight with two goals, five, could have been a BOG boy. Uh, again, Tykewood with his four goals, great game, but uh, I saw it this way. Okay. All the C's again today. Cockrell, Cornwall, Cousins. Which order are you to give them, Ron? One vote to Ian Cockrell, two votes to Nevada Cornwall, and three votes to John Cousins for a great performance here this afternoon. Okay, Jason, no doubt you'll disagree with Ron, you usually do. What yes, about your mates? I have. Afternoon? As we see the umpires on screen there, they were John Zampatti and Simon Flowers, and I reckon that's uh, about as good as we've seen for the year. I reckon they did a great job, that's my opinion. Boundary umpires, Scotty Dove and uh, Sean Rafferty, the Irishman, he, he, actually not his best game today, Sean Rafferty, but, but when I put the pressure on him, when he can hear me in front of me, he let go magnificent show there at one stage. And, and Scott McDonald and Eric Billings and, and the young kid from last oh, week. Oh, he's never it? recovered, I don't think. He's still recovering in hospital, <laughs> I think. He, he never run that far in his life, that young boy. He lost the plot, but anyway, we won't get on with him. But uh, well done to the umpires, and I really honestly think that Z Sam Paddy and Flowers, the old Barca, was the best performance we've seen in very trying conditions. I thought they gave the player going for the footy every chance, and they were consistent in their interpretation of the rules. Ronnie, yes or no? They did a great job. That's, Top ca job. that's come from the biggest umpire basher of all time, Jason. <laughs> yes, they did a very good job okay, in trying conditions. Okay, well, I've given one vote to Wayne Tyquin. I thought that uh, his game across centre half forward was telling throughout most of the game. He took some great marks and ended up with four goals, but I don't think it was just his goal scoring that mattered. Uh, he was a leader out on the ground, which is what they needed, and uh, I've given him one vote. Two votes to Mick O'Toole. He was uh, instrumental in getting the ball forward on many occasions. Oh, God, what was that for? Just a bit of a look. Okay, so I've given him two votes. I thought he played a very good game. And I've given three votes to John Cousins, another leadership role from the captain there. He was there all day, picked up the ball fantastically well in uh, trying conditions, and uh, he was instrumental in a big cryo win. All right, well, you just uh, stung me there. I thought I had one of my own at last, but uh, <laughs> he plucked it. Yeah. Sorry. Obviously oh, is that what judge. the look was for? Yeah, Sorry. I gave one vote to Ian Cockle. I thought it was terrific. Uh, I know he didn't play the last quarter. He had the big, big bandage on the leg, but I thought he'd done enough in three quarters to get a vote. He, he was the one that just steadied the ship. I did call at one stage, Cockney should go back into that back line mm -hmm. and steady the ship, and yep. he went back, and he did just that. He did it very nicely. We see Roach on screen there, and I thought he played a great game too, and so did it. Cornwall as we see him going through, getting the hand pass away. Mick O'Toole, I gave two votes, and I thought I had Mick O on my own. I thought he played a great game. He was in under every, every pack. He got the ball at the centre on numerous occasions. He was a good link man, and he set up the play for his forwards. 
and I gave three votes to Johnny Cousins. We all agree that Johnny Cousins today is the guest video player of the round, the best man on the ground here at the Devil's Playground this afternoon. Well, that's very good. Thank you, gentlemen, for those very wise words of uh, wisdom. So congratulations to John Cousins, a perfect score, nine out of nine. Best on ground, four round 15, GDFL football with four votes. Amico Tool, congratulations, Mick. With two votes, Nevada Cornwall and Ian Cockrell, and one vote, Wayne Tyquin. I've got, uh, yes, I have got the same very same thing. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, Jason, uh, we have to make a decision between Ian Cockrell and Nevada Cornwall to who gets the one vote. Mm. Well, well, I think two Nevada of us have got given uh, Ian Cockrell a vote each, and one of us has given. Nevada two votes so do you want to go for the one who got the most votes or the one who got the, mo the votes off the most certainly point? David I like your analogy and congratulations I haven't given one yet <laughs> Ian Cockrell gets the one vote the old cocky thank you very much he's wearing 62 or something now too. Yeah. 63. 63 that's a bit of a worry isn't it because if, if he plays one more year he could, he could wind up with Roachie's number number 99 <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good bloke cocky we get on well with him and uh, could have seen pick up a guest video tank and Ronnie and the key ring as well Yes, and uh, a special award too, I think the guest video should make today, is the Trainers Award. So if they're there Monday night, they'll get a guest video taken as well. And I'm speaking of the Carayo Drunks, as they're known, in uh, Mel Nichols and Nolly Watson, who also represented the China District Football League in our little trip to Narracourt as the league, interleague trainers, doing a great job out here at Devil Land. So, fellas... If you're out there Monday night at the Great Western Hotel, there might be a surprise. A tanker each for them, and uh, and if you give them an empty tanker, they'll belt you, so better fill them up, Ron. <laughs> you better give me some money now then. OK, I can handle that. <laughs> I want to back the winner early on this afternoon. Good game out here this afternoon. Carrillo, far too good at the finish. 14-16, 100. They've defeated Bannockburn three goals, 8-26. Carayo continue their undefeated march towards the Premiership of 1995. Our guest video crew today, well, mate, Ronnie Brain here, he's, he's drinking mineral water and eating meat fatties, and it's frightening. He had gin and tonic at one stage. I thought I'd be wife out with me at one stage there at the West. <laughs> having a bit of lunch, he's drinking gin and tonic. God, help me. I said the next step uh, from gin is brandy. What's that? <laughs> The mud from the oval, I can spell, I think. I think the meat patties, I think I can spell. I did say uh, to Roddy there at the Western, because they're great sponsors of ours, I did say the next step from gin and tonic is brandy, and the next step from brandy is the funny farm, Ron, so you're just two <laughs> steps away from the nut house. Uh, <laughs> if you work with me much longer, you'll be there quicker than you like. David Cook, Jason Doherty, great to have you up here this afternoon. Jace, Eddie. We've had a bit of Eddie. Yeah, Eddie McGuire. <laughs> yeah. I think he's heading that way too. Don't move out of your chair. You move straight in. Uh, technical <laughs> we'll get this, the technical staff and Noel Fanning and Brett Revere. You know, I don't know who invented that title, but obviously they give it to the Bomber. 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 <laughs> Bomber. Yeah. We are Bomber. too. We're off to Anarchy next anarchy. week. Oh, Fantastic. God, we won't get him back the week after. Him <laughs> but Fano, I hope you come back. And uh, on behalf of all the guest video crew, we've had a great day this afternoon. We'll bid you... A fond farewell as the music drifts into our ears once again, I hope. I'm still hoping. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw!